Good evening, everybody. My name is Henry Feintuck. I'm uh, uh, part of PRSA New York. I'm president of my own PR firm, Feintuck Communications, and I'd like to welcome you to this evening's program on B2B and social media. Uh, the program is part of the New York chapter of PRSA's commitment to providing provocative content, actionable information, education, training, and resources to the PR community. Um, to explain a little bit more about the benefits of being a member of PRSA, for the, and just by show of hands, how many people in the room are in fact members of PRSA? Great. Um, a, a good chunk. Uh, I'd like to introduce Harry Zlokauer, the president of Zlokauer Associates. He's also vice president of the New York Chapter's Board of Directors. Harry? Okay, thank you very much, and I welcome all of you, uh, members and non-members. Um, and I really want to encourage those of you who are not members of Public Relations Society of America to please consider joining. It's one of the great organizations that has represented our profession and field. Um, many of the, some of the great leaders in PR have gone through that organization. There are, there are some distinct advantages to being part of a group like this. One, of course, is leadership, a chance not only to come and be at programs like this, but to actually work on them and be part of the process. Secondly, uh, networking and contacts. I can't tell you how valuable it is to be with uh, people in your own career. You make contacts just to un try to understand the profession better. You make contacts to advance in your career. And if you're uh, running your own public relations firm or active in marketing, you have an opportunity to uh, meet potential clients. Um, thirdly, uh, education. You see it now today. Well, if you're a member, those opportunities for education and learning are so much greater. You, uh, in terms of the information that's constantly flowing to you that you get from your peers and being having access to all of these seminars. Um, and finally, the economic aspects of um, being in a, a member of the, of, uh, the PRSA. Uh, you, there are discounts available and for uh, insurance and, and uh, car rentals and hotels and hospitality. Uh, discount certainly for attending seminars like this and uh, many 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 other economic advantages to being a member of the PRSA so uh, please uh, I'll be around for the entire session tonight I would love to uh, talk to you more about PRSA or certainly help you uh, consider joining please uh, leave your card and I'll leave your car my card with you thank you Thank you, Harry. Uh, also, our thanks to Michael Lasky and the good folks at the Davis and Gilbert for providing this conference facility tonight. They've been a real friend of the PR community and PRSA in New York and, and more broadly, and we really do appreciate it. And I think there are a whole bunch of people in the room. Folks from Davis and Gilbert, might you uh, raise your hands and just uh, give yourselves up in the back and a lot of other uh, uh, people here on audiovisual and all that. So thank you all. We really do appreciate your support. Uh, round of applause for Davis and Gilbert for doing this. Work. I also, and uh, uh, David Dowling, if I can bring you up, uh, I want to uh, extend my personal and special thanks to PR Newswire. This is the first time that we've engaged and, and sought out some sponsors because times are dry out there and uh, there's not a lot of discretionary income, and uh, we were able to attract PR Newswire, who's a big friend of the PR community, uh, very active in social media and social media product and services. They are the sole sponsor both of tonight's event and of several more that we're planning for the fall, including one called Everything You Always Wanted to Know About Search Engine Marketing But Were Afraid to Ask. I think that's scheduled for October. We've got a couple of other programs that we're putting together. So with that, uh, David, a couple of remarks. Thanks, Henry. Um, I'd like to say that PR Newswire is very pleased to be sponsoring tonight's event with PRSA's New York chapter. Uh, it seems social media is evolving every day with each new app and each new site, and now we are about to discuss the Forbidden Dance. So I'd like to thank uh, all of our speakers tonight in advance, and we look forward to the conversation. Thanks. Okay. Now we get started. Uh, with the preliminaries out of the way, I want to tell you a little bit about how the program came together. I was drafted back in January by PRSA New York, and they were looking for somebody who didn't have a job yet, and I seemed to have a little bit of time on my hands, and they said, can you put some programming together in the new media and the technology space? And we started talking, 
and looked around at the kind of programming that's largely been out in the New York area, and it's largely in the social media space been fairly consumer oriented. A lot of the early cases, and there may be some disagreement, and I guess we'll see as it flows around the, uh, the table in the conversation a little bit, but many of the early cases that have been cited have been in the consumer space, B2C. Uh, and it just seemed that there was a whole bunch of colleagues that I started chatting with and, and soon with my introduction to David Rosen that we were hunting for cases in the B2B space where social media was really making a difference, convincing people, opening up a conversation between companies and their clients. And from that germ of an idea, David ran with the concept of fashioning a panel and the forbidden dance and, and we kind of put all this together. I'm going to have David in a moment explain the program and who the panelists are.